Welcome back to the Wealth Principle Secret Video Series. You're watching secret video number two. This might surprise you, but becoming an entrepreneur, as some might think, is not a job. It is a lifestyle choice. The idea of becoming an employee, well, let's just throw that right out the window. As an entrepreneur, you face absolutely no competition. Some of you might be thinking, well, that doesn't sound right. Of course you have competition. Well, let me frame it to you this way. Remembering that the first secret I revealed was think like an entrepreneur. As an employee, you are pitted against every other employee in the marketplace. You are graded by your academic standing. You must apply and go through countless rounds of interviews with prospective employers. In fact, as a demographic, employees and the self-employed represent a whopping 95% of the workforce, whether they are actually employed or not. Considering about 20% of that population continue to seek jobs that either don't exist or they don't qualify for. Fact is, 70% never get a job in their field of education. What? That's right. The whole purpose of academic education, specifically post-secondary, is to teach the masses how to be trainable. Teaching them to be good little students and employees so that they can adapt and perform for their entrepreneurial bosses. You can't tell me that's not the most competitive market arena you will ever participate in. When you make the decision to look at becoming an entrepreneur as an alternative, what are the requirements? Well, first of all, no application is needed. Second, there are no interviews. Education is optional. It can be bought and paid for. Only 5% of the population are considered to be entrepreneurs. That's 1 20th the size of the market in comparison. There are literally no limitations except the ones you put on yourself. Hmm, no one competing to start your business except you. Actually, it only takes a decision, your decision. The only person who can turn you down is you. When it does come to competition, entrepreneurs welcome competitive businesses. The idea that you are alone in something begs the idea that your endeavor may fail. If others are doing it, you can learn to do it better. And that a market exists for you to take what you can. Some of the biggest businesses in the world never had an original idea of their own. They just figured out how to make it better. Just look at what Apple did to the MP3 market by creating the iPod, or what they did to the smartphone market when they created the iPhone. As you read further into chapter two, you will discover that there are some common traits that every entrepreneur eventually develops or discovers. In an interview with Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, they both agreed that the number one element to their success was focus. Focus requires passion and a change in your lifestyle is essential to becoming an entrepreneur. Passion and self-motivation are critical to the longevity of your endeavor. They are not events that happen from time to time. They are a lifestyle choice. So there you have it. The second secret to your success is that passion and focus are essential to becoming an entrepreneur and are the two most domineering traits to your success. So keep reading chapter two and discover how to unleash your entrepreneurial spirit and I will see you again in about 21 pages or so. My name is Greg Luchak and you have a great day.